fear death. It's part of her survival instinct. But in this day and age, that fear of death can run as a deep undercurrent under our activities, the things we do and the decisions we make. Sometimes the bigger house, the flashier car, the better job. It's all about proving significance. Proving that we are immortal in some way, that the things that we create will outlive us. But in reality, death is the end of all things. It's simply termination. The letting go of all things. So here in this graveyard, I'd like to take you on a small journey into the fear of death and to face it with the neurodive. What we're going to do is enter into the moment of our funeral, see our friends and family gathered around us, see their tears and their sorrow, and wish that we could talk to them, wish that we could be there with them. And as the, the pain of the dive increases with the lack of oxygen, I want you to change that into the desire to live. Because really, all we have is this moment, and even that is passing. So with that, let's neurodive death. We're gonna take five breaths. Hold, just hold as long as you can. Mostly on five breaths, you should be able to make about a minute. If you can go longer, go for it. Are you ready? take that first breath that wave of peace is going to come see the event see your own funeral and just let it fade into the distance it's okay you can accept it you can accept the fact that you will someday die and as you drift Oh, not peace. Just be in a state of nothingness. No emotions. No stress. No desires. No hopes. No dreams. A place I call the nothingness. journey and it can last for days this is Tom Cockyle 
Signing off. Neurodiving for the fear of death. Life can be hard at times. Days can become storms. Storms can become hurricanes. And in the ebbs of flow of life, we do our best to surf these waves, looking for the peaks, the highs, the moments that make life worth living. But in the midst of all of this chaos that we call life, we need to find peace. Because it's only in finding peace that we can be happy. It's only in finding peace that we can have contentment. It's only in finding peace that we can find joy. And freedom has a price. It has to be worked for. Like the guys that sit up in the mountains for most of their life, trying to achieve that nirvana. Their goal is happiness, their goal is joy. And that's a noble goal, as noble as any other goal on earth. I found neurodiving helped me is like a shortcut to peace. Because it's so instant, it's like carrying a bottle of Valium around in your pocket. It hits like a truck immediately after you do it. Sometimes I can do it sitting at my desk, when I'm walking, even done it during riding my bicycle, just to see the effects. But every single time I notice there's a tremendous reduction in stress and I just feel this calm peace over me and a period of no emotion. And I wanna live in that world. I wanna live in that peaceful center that things don't knock me off like a Buddha, like a guru, and there's nothing wrong with wanting that. I think you would want that too. Think of what your life would be if you were at peace and happy and content with what you have. It would be a very different life. So with newer diving, it's a shortcut. You can use it to overcome the big obstacles of emotions, the big guilt, heavy shame, sexual abuse, anger issues, problems with your family, loss of a loved one. You can use neurodiving to plunge into those painful emotions and just basically erase them like check marks off a slate. And the end result is, it's like when you're at peace, you change your value systems. What matters anymore? You know, working 18 hours a day, You know, we all have our reasons to keep going. And sometimes those reasons are false. Sometimes we can race to prove our self-worth, to prove that we have value, to prove that we're worth loving. But I want to say to you right now that you are worth loving. That you, just the way you are, and all your flaws and all your insecurities are worth loving. You are worthy of respect. And you can take that and store it inside and carry it because only you can give it to you even if I say it to you only you can give yourself that self-respect that you are worthy and you have nothing to prove this is Tom Coghill with a tidbit on life signing off